anything up there now. We're actually pushing through. Nice. We definitely should go on the right first to clear them out since they're spawning on the left. Nothing. We should pay attention. Right. They're still gone. Okay, maybe I shouldn't jump. Get me in! No, 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 oh. Never fucking mind. I like how they're ignoring these. And just letting them shoot them in the back. Two hundred damage. That's why you need lots of iron flesh so you can flank the enemy. What does it say? I still have 83 health though. That's why I don't like the Empire Militia. Or the, yeah, the troops. Well, their troops, they only have spears. Which are pretty bad, fucking bad in sieges. here. Oh, oh. That was surprising. They fall off again. Easy peasy. Okay, so they they only got Yanos left. Everything else we've taken already. Let's see about food real quick. Yeah, need loads of food. Alright. Guess not. Okay, now let's go. I wanna take those out. Let Yanos be their last capital. Janos. See this one. Yeah, this one's gonna be easy, way easier to take. Get this one first. I think I lo actually lost some Noldor. There. Yeah, probably the siege battle. No wonder they, they died. Oh, you're gonna help me out. How nice of you. Okay, never mind. I guess they're not gonna help me out. 
Jesus, they have 400 prisoners. They're literally like the unique spawns now, having a bajillion of prisoners. Okay, Archer stand there. Cav. Right behind him. Do some skirmishing first. Oh, this one. Oh. Actually, let's move the infantry back. This does happen from time to time. Fortunately, he's stuck there forever now, unless he gets killed. have to garrison before we even get into the city. I mean, we already did. surprised if you could actually win a battle before even well I guess you had to go into the city because you know with how they're spread out Out of ammunition. Actually, keep him there for now. I would prefer not to lose any of them. Now where, how do we 
get up there actually. Okay, this way too. Yeah, okay, that didn't stand a chance. Only six losses. I just need to get to those two over there. Good because our troops should be better too. Like that. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna have that many troops to actually place in the garrison. It shouldn't be a problem. Lancer, Footman, sure. Earth Worshippers, Cobra Warriors, Armsmen are pretty good. That's no reward. Leave all of them, leave all of them in there. for that one now. This one is going to be a little bit more difficult. But we can do it. If you're defending this, it might be actually like better to like place your. Well, maybe not. Depending on depending on where your troops stand, it might be actually better to like just place them there. Still here. Now this is how you take over castles, just have a bunch of ranged units to destroy the enemy before you even get up to the walls. Because you know skirmishing and staging is actually this, not attack and right.
Okay, might be time to move in, right? <laughs> Place our archers on top of the walls. Did take a shitload of damage. Impossible. We can also place them there. It's a good place. Can I? Yes, I can. Sort of. Go. Oh, if I fell off, I would probably die. say we can always get more of them but I've used up all my quality gems. Getting shot at it. We're gonna be able to take those out. I'll try. Nope. Yeah. Too many crossbows. Not that many left, though. Yeah. There was 500 plus the uh, Lord's army. Yeah, that's all. I don't think there's, you know, they're not spawning anymore. Good. Only 15 dead on our side, too. What are they stuck on? Yes, flank. Go a different way. Don't turn your backs to the enemy though. Yeah, he's he's dead. Maybe not. He's gonna survive. Amazing. win. Well, did we lose any Noldor? Yeah, we lost one. Okay. Anything we can use? Not really. Pick them up. Monter now, Helbadeers, Cav, Mercenary Warriors. Nice. Well, we can pick this up, all these up. What's up, Dark? I'm from ex Yugoslavia, the Balkans. I don't know how long the delay is gonna be on that though. Till we hear it. To be patient a little bit. All these in. Mm, not much. Fierce veins steamrolled even without my help. And I am in their faction. So now we just need to take what? 
three cities out and that's it. Let's see if they did, did they besiege anything. No. Okay. They did just take says. Well, I did help them, but still, you know. I'm just finishing this off. I, I'm, I'm not gonna do the, you know, full on victory by killing all of these. That's gonna take too too long to mop that mop them up. Let's see, there's seven. Gonna choose that. Oh, well, thank you. There's a bunch of equal equalizing shit on the microphone, but <laughs> I'm always messing around with that stuff. When the, even in the morning, I change this stuff around so my voice is different from the last stream, too. Okay, well, let's scout out Mara's castle. That one's pretty difficult to knock out, too. Okay, there's, they have around 500 troops in there. See your Rhaegar. We're gonna knock this one out real quick, right? Ladders too, nice. Wait, do we have anyone? I guess we can upgrade. Blow our troops real quick. And all our warriors too. Neopolonic Wars, right. I don't think I actually purchased Neopolonic Wars though. I might have, I'm not sure anymore. For some reason I can't actually get into my old account on Tales World because when they, you know, change the website around. So I can't access my keys. Although I do have them on GOG, some of the games on GOG and some of, uh, some of the Mountain Blade games on Steam. So I have to check that first. And did you see the? There are a couple of mods are in in the making, or some of them are actually out for Battle Lord with uh, you know guns and whatnot. There's actually one. Uh, there's one. There's one that they made it so you you know the. Yeah, it's better to buy them all in one place always. There's one mod that they made that so you can, you know the multiplayer battles in Banlor where you can like uh, be a squad leader and have a bunch of AI troops with you? They made that with... Oh god, yep, this is gonna take a while. They made that with uh, muskets, like the, the Civil War, you know, English versus Americans, but well, not the Civil War. Why the fuck do I forget what the call the war is named? Yeah, I literally forgot how the what the American English war was, you know, for independence, right? There's a mod. I might actually check that out, but it seems pretty cool. You can have like a yeah, the North versus South mod, but for Banlord. You know, if you can get like 10 people, 10 people with, you know, like, the, each one has like 10, 10 AI uh, squad mates he can command, it gets into really big battles like that. Oh, this one. Oh, this one is a pain in the ass, boys. Just, uh... You gonna glitch into the wall? No? Okay, good. Oh, this is the one with the Shadow Legion. Right? Oh no, Wolf. Shadow Wolf, right? I wanna finish up uh, war, uh, this playthrough, and I'm gonna play... I did... I have a... I, I have a playthrough started on... Uh, ben Lord with the Roman mod. Eagle Rising, Sierra, something like that. I want to finish that off first. I might actually check out some other mod mods on the way there. Let's see. Actually, just attack. 
can have a good firing position here. But up here, I think we can place them so they can shoot at those over there. Oh my fucking god. I don't know the mod names, because I didn't really play too much multiplayer in Warband. I was always a single player guy, more or less. Officer Pandora and all that shit. Played the more Call of Duty and Counter-Strike Source back in the day, when it comes to multiplayer. Left for that too and some other games. Get everyone in here. If we can. See if we can get the archers this way. So we can put them up there. Is it the 60 euro game? I actually. I actually don't know how long, that, how much playtime I have on Warband since I usually play it off Steam. You know, I downloaded it for the Tail Worlds website. And play it that way. So, but probably over 2000 hours or so, something like that. And I don't know, Battle Lord is getting pretty good right now. I mean, I didn't have that many crashes the last time I played. You do have to save a lot, though. Again, most of my hours on Warband are with Periz uh, Prophecy of Pandor, too. <laughs> and some other mods like Perizno. Or the Roman mods. All two or three of them that actually work. Shit. You know, there's still people like... Uh, don't want to play Benelode at all. They say it sucks. I mean, it's kind of decent. Although there are some AI problems still. Like, I, I have a pro well, I, I don't have a problem, but the AI does. I run into, usually run into the enemies that they just don't have any elite troops. They only have, like, um, recruits. Or is it gonna be... Well, I mean, the lifespan of Warband, I mean, we're playing it still today, you know? Bello is gonna be great in, like, two or three years once all the mods come out and stuff. The problem now is... Uh, if you knock out the enemies once, it seems they only have recruits and like low tier infantry after, low tier troops after that. Which you just, you know, kill a bunch of them and they just retreat. So, that's kind of my issue, it's pretty fucking easy. And again, I, I didn't change the campaign difficulty thing, that might actually change stuff. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Make a Slavic Union, right? <laughs> oh, if only these guys were standing on the engine, they can actually shoot your own. That would be perfect. I think that's all of them. Hopefully, none of them are. St oh, right. Yeah, that might be an issue. There's a couple of spaces on this map that uh, your troops can get stuck on. Yeah, have a good night, man. Thank you for the follow. Thank for, thanks for watching. I'll stream earlier in the next few weeks. Polish and Russians. Who doesn't hate Russians? Fuck them. They're annoying as all hell. And for the Polish people... Since I'm gonna work in the tourism industry, they everyone hates them. They just leave a mess all the fucking time and break shit. Oh, 
guy is gonna die. Like I said, the Polish are kind of messy. Since I'm studying tourism and hospitality, I'm gonna have an issue with them. Otherwise, every, everything like uh, they're safe from everything. They the, the Black Plague avoided them. They're golden, basically. <laughs> but there they are poor, though. You know, like it's uh, like. Uh, we always say that the Balkans are poor, you know, Croatia, Bosnia, and Serbia, this and that. And when you take into consideration, like, our currency and theirs, or how they lived that, like, 10 or 20 years ago, you know? And as for gypsies, they're fucking jackasses. They have a shitload of money, which is funny. I don't know how many times I had a gypsy walk up to me, like, ask for money or something. Or, yeah, for money, they don't ask for anything else. He literally has more in his pockets than I do. Like, fuck off, man. I got, like, five euros in my pocket and you want me to give me give you money? While you have, like, five... Like, 25, 50 euros? Come on. I'm poor, poorer than them. The only problem I guess they have is that they... Don't let, don't have houses. Most of them, they live in abound, abandoned houses here, at least. Well, we don't have welfare here, but still, they do have a shitload of money. The only problem is they have, they always live in like uh, abandoned houses and whatnot. They actually like rented out a place because they have the money. Oh, you really hate gypsies. This, this, they can like fix this up themselves here at least. They can grab, a, get a place or a house, rent it out, and actually get legitimate jobs. And they wouldn't like scrounge on the streets anymore, you know. But that that's too hard. Why would you work? Who wants to work? Hey, ten hours a day, twelve maybe for like three hundred euros a month or even less here. At least. Yeah. Leave your back at some jackasses company. Like Kai almost did. Had a back injury. You really do hate gypsies. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind them as long as don't they fuck. As long as they don't fuck with me. And since in Bosnia we don't have welfare. Well, we kinda do, but we don't. It's not like they're taking money from me, you know? Well, is that really racism? You know? I don't know how gypsies got to, like... Or Roma people got to their own race. You know, they should be just a nationality like everyone else, right? In my opinion, at least. Let's see, Snickle Patrol... No... Actually, I'm interested who's gonna win that. Never mind. You're in Slovakia, I guess? I know Slovakia and... Uh, I was there. Sh should I have started working for a company that makes the mechanisms to... Like, lower... Uh, like, the window things in the cars. Like, all those little mechanisms that go into the cars. And I... Just refused. Fuck that. Yeah, they're almost. Yeah, well, that's probably because uh, EU enforces you to actually pay them welfare. I mean, every EU, EU country is gonna get fucked up by that at some point. There's so many people coming in, even from like the Balkans. Well, not not really. We don't really live off welfare, I don't think. Over there, we actually work. But the ones that don't, I mean, it's not gonna work. Can't have like two, one million people working for two million people on welfare. Just it's not it's not gonna work. Can't work. Like here, we have a problem where 
literally the country is just borrowing money to pay the pensions for the for the pensioners, the old people, because there's there's not enough workers to actually get the taxes in to pay it, which is gonna fuck everything up at some point. There's only so much money you can borrow or print, I guess. Like the United States, they're just printing money at this point. Although they did stop for a little bit, right? But the EU has, you know, begun doing the same thing, printing out euros. Which is not gonna end well for us. Not at all. That's why I think they're, like, in the last couple of years, you see the, like, the big banks, big banks and all the politicians and everything. Uh, they were against uh, cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, Ethereum and all that. Now they're all buying into it. Because, you know, crypto is only valuable. Uh, like, it's basically demand and supply. Yeah, the man. It was supply and demand. Yeah, lots of people want crypto. The crypto prices go up, like right now, and you can't buy anything for PCs anymore. Like even, I was fucking surprised when I saw the power supplies being as expensive as they are. I'm like, gee, you can't get power supplies. You can't get GPUs. You can't get CPUs. What the? F like, come on. Although I do really think that, like, me and you, for example, if you do have a GPU that can actually mine, you know, just mine with it when you're not playing any games or doing nothing. I do it too, I got like, I got like, maybe $60 a month, that, you know, decent amount of money. Both Hungarians, I don't have an opinion about them, really. I do like their girls. Actresses, adult actresses, I guess. <laughs> they seem pretty fine. I know there's a bunch of um, protests everywhere now happening because of the COVID restrictions and everything else. Okay, let's let's go and pick up some more troops and. Food too. Well, not really. Uh, Albanians, the Bosnians, Muslims are more Turkish than them. If they're mixed with gypsies, that's a whole other thing. I actually don't know. I didn't look, really look into it. I do know, like, I do know if we have all the like the Eastern European, like the Central and Eastern, like Slovakia, Czech Republic, uh, Slo uh, Slovenia, and then all us to the east have a problem with people just moving out to work in Europe, in Germany, in France, and some other higher higher paying countries. Which is a fucking problem here too. Like Bosnia and Herzegovina is not in the EU. We don't have any trade, any or any relations. We're on the list to get in. But there's like, well, the Republic of Srpska has, uh, I think, a million and a two hundred million two hundred thousand people. Three hundred are already left that we know of that are like basically moved. I don't know how many are working in an, on in a gray market, you know. Illegally, that is. Oh, we can go through history and say who fucked who throughout. <laughs> that would be pretty fucking easy back in the day. Back in the day, the whole Balkans was controlled by Serbia. <laughs> And then we fought against each other and the Turks came in and fucked us up, basically. Then again, so did the Roman Empire, they lost, the em Byzantine Empire lost because the Crusaders sacked 
Constantinople, I don't know which year. And all the Crusades actually ended up in Constantinople, in Byzantium, you know, the Latin Empire and all that. So basically throughout history we screwed ourselves more than the Ottoman Empire screwed us. Literally, we're our own worst enemy, I guess. Which is sad to say, but it's true. Fucked ourselves more up than our enemies did. Alright, oh, I need to talk to one of these guys, or two of them. You said you were gonna go to sleep. Don't stay up all night awake like I did. <laughs> I switched night and day again. Can't, can't go back now. Like uh, today, I like uh, went to sleep like one in the afternoon after lunch, and I was like, I'm gonna sleep to five and at four. And I woke up like, what was it? Half, about eight o'clock in the evening. Well, you didn't have any grammar. Um, send the patrol out. You didn't have any... What's it called? Mistakes, I guess. Not that many, at least. And you're not English, so yeah. I don't expect you to be perfect. You speak feel fluently or... Cool. Uh, spell, yes, spell perfectly. Alright, give me the baggage train if you can. <laughs> I mean, it's decent. I've seen uh, English people and Americans have worse grammar than you, so you're pretty good. Actually, we don't need to tell them to recruit anymore, right? Actually, there is no point. Pick these up. Oh, Carls too. Heavy Axemen too. So you don't know what for that. But yeah, dude. Good night. Let's see ya. Skelsel, I'm gonna need a couple more. I don't mind. That's your opinion, you have a right to it. I'm not a PC kind of type. Let's take these and train them up. Well, Twitch might mind. Then again, only, they only, I, I think they only like get pissed off if I say something racist. Yeah, see ya, Dark. You can also subscribe, uh, go on to YouTube, there's a link. You can watch these wads if you want. I'll upload everything on there. Also, I got the Discord if you have any questions or something else. need to wait for the yeah, thank you we just need to wait for the marshal to actually decide or no never mind I think I can take Mara's castle by myself and they can take Janos out we don't have any quest do we know So easy when you have a lot of trainer skill. Adventures. 
Yeah, no problem, man. Drop in anytime. Let's see. They're gonna have their all their lords in there, aren't they? No, no, don't run into the city. No, no, no. I wanna lure them out so I can kill them on the field. Or most of them. Oh, I am too slow for this now. And fire thrill and charge. <laughs> oh, they only have recruits. What you gonna do with that? Oh, you're gonna throw your peel at me. I'm dead. There's the leader. So that's him. Kill him in one foot go. Got the speed bonus though. Oh, what? You wanna attack me? Let's see. <laughs> they can't even do damage. I don't even have the runic plate armor. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, oh, they have the black iron spears. That's why. I think. Yeah, they have the Black Iron Spirits, that's why they can do damage. Although this is on the easiest difficulty. I might actually do, um... Like, um... Run on, like, a... Uh, Extreme on the highest difficulty. Well, I'm gonna need to like play play like a bitch and hide and skirmish and whatnot. Just not my kind of thing, but still. Shit. Okay, they're are they going for it? It's actually. Oh, you sh sh shitheads. Don't fucking load the village. If you're right, I can drag them into the bathroom. With some, of them, some of them at least. Let's get the king in. Course of action, follow me. Okay, two, course of action, follow me. Get all of them in the, into the, in the fight. You fucking fair if I win all of their fights, right? Alright. Mm, there's lots of lords that actually beat the shit out of before they joined. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty fucking easy. Well, not. We'll see. We have a lot of troops in here. Oh, this. Oh, this. This is pretty. Fu this is one. It's one of the easiest to actually attack. You just place your archers there. Oh, that's basically it. Wait for them to kill off some of them. No 
if we get more archers in, that's gonna be good. Get our companions out of there. And they're retreating into the city. Okay, I guess just stand be behind here so that you can, don't get killed. there. This might take a while. Or maybe I should just send the infantry and cab in and pull them back, see if we can lure them out. Oh, those gun sounds. Or they're just gonna push through. Yeah, I should go flank on to the right. Yeah, looks like yeah, most of the enemies are going left. So let's flank to the right. Maybe get some archers up there too. If I don't fall off the ladder, that is. The FPS drops. Now there was a fix where you use the large address aware thing to, you know. Can we jump off? I think we can. You just make the game use more than two gigabytes of memory, and that worked for a long time. And then all of a sudden, it doesn't anymore. And again, it might be because of the because of um, Windows 10. Who knows? Like I said, I might actually grab a whole PC. Like, I actually can't. I do need a processor that can like uh, use the OBS thing that uh, you can like. Uh, I can get the game onto the second PC through network. No oh, shit. Yeah, these are crossbowmen. Lag's not helping one bit. Unfortunately, our archers ain't gonna aim at there. There's over there. So you have to do this manually all the fucking time. Those are gonna destroy my guys. through this it's gonna take a while though I did try to actually like play warband on my old PC then just uh, use the network NDI I think on OBS to like stream it on this PC the new one but uh, the AMD Phenom two, nine, fifth, 65 doesn't have that option doesn't have those instructions or whatnot, unfortunately. So let's keep the archers on the hill there if we can. If I can actually position them right, since they, uh, they should be able to fire on those archers on the other side. Okay, a, a bit further back. Oh, 
Yeah, they're getting some kills, nice. Maybe a little bit more back. On, on top of the tippy top of the hill. Okay, even more back. Yo, those scroll those fucking crossbowmen. Two or three days ago it was almost 30 degrees outside, now it's what? Let's see. Celsius that is. Now it's 4. 12. And it's gonna go into minus 1 too. Jesus Christ. The weather is fucked up royally. to stand on the wall there. You're still getting them destroyed by these guys. Oh god, look at that. At least only like four of them are firing from over there. Clear shot on the end. AI limitations, right? Yeah, we have an advantage. 